Hello, welcome to Force Work 4. Uh, we're going to try and uh, answer some of the questions from the online forum this week. Um, first question we get asked a lot online and in the stores is how do I keep bad smells out of my boat? Um, there's obviously a lot of things that contribute to smells in the boat, whether it be uh, engine, uh, the galley or the heads areas, um, and also the fact that it's a wet environment and obviously there's, uh, there's water and therefore potentially damp areas around. Um, so tea tree powder, um, which uh, is based on uh, Australian tea tree oil, uh, it's actually a gel and uh, what you do is you take the cap off, peel off a little film lid and uh, it slowly evaporates over time and uh, it sort of attacks, is the best way of describing it, sort of the microbes in the air and helps to eliminate those bad odours. Um, there's also a spray which you can use on upholstery and obviously uh, sort of bad areas of mould or mildew um, and it helps keep, uh, keep your boat smelling nice and fresh. One of the most popular questions we get asked on Force 4, 4 is what is the best offshore or ocean suit that you do? Well the answer to that is this one. This is the Hemiloid Offshore Elite. Um, now this is an exclusive to Force 4 product. Um, uh, it's the Offshore Elite model suit, but it's made from a much heavier duty Gore-Tex fabric. Uh, so it's an offshore suit, it's got very high in the collar. Adjustable Optivision hood. Big spume guard across the, across the nose. Hand warmer uh, pockets in the chest with a zip. Hand warmer pockets on the waist, also with the cargo pocket as well. The trouser chest high trousers made of the same heavy duty Gore-Tex fabric again. Hand warmer pockets with a zip as well. Thigh pocket, reinforced knees and adjustable ankle straps. Also adjustable on the waist, on the back as well. And also a reinforcement on the seat. Last week we looked at AIS transponders with Wi-Fi capability for use with tablets and phones. This week we're going to continue with the AIS theme and look at VHF radios with integrated AIS. Having AIS integrated into a VHF has many advantages over having a separate AIS unit. Space saving and ease of installation. One less DC circuit to worry about wiring. Most have internal splitters, so only one connection to an antenna is required. And some models have a direct DSC call to AIS target function. The first model in our lineup today is from B&G, and it's a model called the V60B. And this is rather special in the fact that it's the first VHF radio to feature an integral AIS transponder. The V60B has an internal GPS receiver, but also has a facility on the rear for connecting a external GPS antenna. The unit is supplied with uh, this fist mic, which can fit to either the port on the front here or to the port on the rear. The unit has both NMEA 0183 and NMEA 2000 connectivity for connecting up to a chart plotter. It has an MOB function where press and hold the MOB button here and then it will mark a, a waypoint in your current location and will enter man overboard mode to show you how far away you are and where you need to steer to get back to the position of the MOB event. The MOB waypoint is also transmitted over the NEMA 2000 network to the rest of your equipment. On the rear you'll notice there are two connection points for antennas. One for your VHF antenna and a separate one for your AIS antenna. It does require two antennas. You can use an external splitter if required. The unit can be easily flush mounted by using the four screw mounts here. 
or it also comes with a mounting bracket. From the front panel, it's IPX7 waterproof and has a two year warranty. The V60B has the ability to connect wirelessly with the H60 wireless handset. This is a fully functional handset with a DSC distress button on top. You can display AIS data on the screen uh, and you can pretty much do anything from this remote that you can from the front panel of the radio. As I say, you can connect up to two of these to this unit. You can then set up an intercom system between the radio and the remote mic. And the mic comes with a wireless charging cradle. The next model in today's lineup is the Standard Horizon GX2200E. This model has been around for a few years and was one of the first radios to feature internal AIS and GPS receivers. On the back, we have connection here for an external GPS antenna if required, connection for a VHF antenna, all the AIS stroke VHF splitting is done with inside the unit. There's a port here for connecting a RAM 3 plus second station unit. And once the second station is connected, you can have full control of the radio, you can view AIS data from the second station, and you can use the second station as an intercom between itself and the main unit. You have your NMEA 0183 wiring, so if you want to connect up to a chart plotter, this is what you would use to connect to a chart plotter. This is the loud hailer connection wire and this is an external speaker connection wire and your power cable. The unit has a nice big display with three user programmable soft keys underneath and a rotary controller here for channel selection and menu selection. The speaker mic features clear voice noise cancelling technology, so great audio from and um, transmission clarity from the radio. There's a built-in 30 watt loud hailer, so when you connect it up to a, a loud hailer from, from the loud hailer connection, uh, you can use it as a loud, ha loud hailer and it also has pre-programmed fog signals uh, built into the unit. You can view AIS data on the screen here. You can select an AIS target from uh, an AIS list and directly call, place a DSC call to that, to that target, um, which is quite a handy feature. And this unit is fully submersible to IPX7 and backed by a three year warranty. The next radio in our lineup for today is the ICOM M506GE. This radio has a built in AIS receiver and has the function for direct calling to AIS targets. The GPS receiver is built into the unit, but the antenna is an external patch antenna. This connects to the rear of the unit via this connection here, and the antenna can be mounted inside a GRP boat or mounted externally for a steel or wooden boat. The M506GE has both NMEA 0183 and NMEA 2000 connectivity. Any data on the NMEA 0183 bus can be converted inside the unit to NMEA 2000 if you're connecting it to other equipment. Other functions of the M506G include last call voice recording, which automatically saves the last two minutes of the last incoming call. You can replay the received call and not miss any incoming calls. The M506 also features bi-directional active noise cancelling, which provides superb performance. It reduces background noise up to 90% in the received signal and up to 30% in the transmitting signal. This function can be turned off. The unit has a built-in 25 watt two-way hailer system when connected to a hailer horn 
and it has a built-in foghorn where you can select up to four patterns uh, for an automatic foghorn function. The M506 also features ICOM's Aquacrake draining function which vibrates water from the speaker grill using low frequency sound. The unit is IPX8 so extremely waterproof and is backed by a three-year warranty. The next unit in today's lineup is the Raymarine Ray 73 VHF, which features built-in AIS and GPS receivers. It has STNG or NEMA 2000 with an adapter cable. It has NMEA 183 connectivity. There's a connection for an external speaker, loud hailer connections, and if you want to use an external GPS, there is a connection here. There is a port here for a Raymic second station, whether it be wired or wireless, and one connection for your VHF antenna. So all the splitting is done inside the unit. The unit comes with a detachable speaker mic and features active noise cancelling system for both transmit and receive signals. The unit also has a fog signaling and public address function when used with an optional hailing horn. It's styled to complement the Axiom family of multifunction displays and when connected via STNG it can share lighting settings with the Raymarine multifunction displays. The unit is IPX7 waterproof and has a two-year warranty. The last unit today is from B&G and it's the V50 VHF with internal AIS receiver. The unit features both NMEA 2000 and NMEA 183 connectivity. There's a single VHF connection on the back as once again the splitting is done inside the unit. It's a connection to a, an external halo horn and also a connection on here to um, an external speaker. The unit comes with a permanently attached fist mic which is a rather nice compact fist mic. There are nice bright green buttons for channel 16 to go in with the B&G colouring. The unit has an internal external hailer and foghorn functions when connected to an external hailer horn. It's, a, it's really easy to use with a rotary channel selection button, separate volume and squelch buttons uh, and quick key presses to go in and out of the AIS display mode. And there is also an MOB function where you can press and hold the MOB button and it will mark a waypoint at that time and you, it will then give you bearing and distance to get back to that waypoint. The unit is waterproof to IPX7 and comes with a two year warranty.